Hey everybody, Crypto Mentor 99 here. It is still Friday, November the 10th, mid-afternoon, and this video is a little off topic, but I want to show you, I want to play a little video for you, and then I want to tell you why it's significant to me. Bear with me, I'm not going to play the whole thing. As most of you know, I love ice hockey. I played ice hockey growing up. And this gentleman to my right is Blackhawk legend Eddie Olchek, who is battling cancer. hockey's most treasured gems is at heart a big teddy bear a six foot one and 200 pounds inside that rough exterior lies a truly sensitive guy who's thinking a lot about life and the medical challenge that lies before him he tells wgm learning about his serious cancer diagnosis was like nothing he could have imagined because at the peak of his career his personal life in order his world suddenly stopped august the 4th at 7:07 p.m when the phone rang i couldn't answer it because i knew and I was diagnosed with stage 3 colon cancer. That's when Eddie Olchek's life changed. This U.S. Hockey Hall of Famer was suddenly at the age of 51 in the fight of his life. Olchek wasn't scrapping with the Russians on the ice anymore or trying to score in the Stanley Cup playoffs. This was the real deal. Every other Monday when we go to Northwestern, there is not a seat to be had in the waiting room. And it, it, it is, that is hard. Months after the diagnosis, Olchek and his wife Diana still processing the unthinkable. Four children, decades together, and so much to live for. My life is completed when everybody else around me is fine. It's always been that way. Like I felt like, like I let everybody down initially. Like that's the first thought that I had when I got sick. I'm glad it's me. And nobody else in my circle. Because, uh... I wouldn't be able to live with somebody else. From his first stomach pain to his final surgery with me. just five days, doctors removed a tumor the size of his fist. Diana, his wife of 29 years, steadfast and calm as Eddie's head was spinning. I don't know if anything ever prepares you for the fact that you're sick or going through the process of trying to become well. This whole last three months, like my wife's, I don't know how she's done it. Like, I really don't. Like, Diana's been... So there's, there's another couple minutes to the video, but Eddie grew up in Chicago, played for the Hawks. Now he's a WGN Channel 9 broadcaster for the Hawks. And I remember growing up watching him play. And there's a rink in Chicago where his son played a year or two ago. He, his son played for the Chicago Steel, S-T-E-E-L. And it's for kids either out of high school, ready to jump into college hockey. Uh, but yeah, Eddie is a, arguably one of the greatest Chicago Blackhawks that ever played. And um, yeah, I would see him at the rink when his son would play and I want to I wanted to give him his space. This was a year or two ago, so it was before he had his cancer diagnosis. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to pay tribute to him. He doesn't know me. He doesn't probably know anything about cryptocurrencies. But I'm from Chicago, a hockey fan of his, of the Blackhawks even to this day. And um, his wife, Diana, was actually at the rink now that I think about it. But anyhow, he's recuperating, and uh, I guess the point of my little video is if you know of anyone that's sick or has cancer or that just needs to be encouraged, go out of your way and encourage that person. Write him a letter, send him an email, call him on the phone. You don't have to be famous to get attention like Eddie Olchek. But anyhow, 
Crypto Mentor 99, share some love. That's what I'm going to be doing tonight and all weekend. See you later. Bye-bye.